Thank you. Uh, thank you, Minister. Um, and it is reassuring uh, to hear the use of the words about uh, reform obligation uh, in relation to the considerations to um, how there can be changes, uh, particularly at a, you know, at a system level, um, which I think is imperative in relation to bringing about change. I would now like to introduce the former Chief Justice of the Family Court, as it then was, uh, the Honourable Diana Bryant, uh, AO, Officer of the Order, now KC, uh, where we are privileged and honoured to have her as our patron. So all of you, please join with me in welcoming the Honourable Justice Bryant. Thank you very much indeed. Um, and I know that you've already heard from, from uh, Minister Giles, but um, let me welcome everybody to the 2022 Online National Cultural Diversity Summit, aptly named Many Cultures, One Voice. Um, and I think it is very much aptly themed this year because I think the death of the long reigning monarch has caused us much public reflection about the future constitutional arrangements for Australia, which need to reflect our current society. And this is pretty much what Minister Giles was talking about. You know, we, we really do need in all in our institutions to reflect our multicultural society. Our current society is comprised of our First Nations people, and then the huge cultural diaspora we have in contemporary Australia. With questions like an Indigenous voice in Parliament soon to be decided, and the Republic debate to be on the agenda in the foreseeable future, it's perhaps more than at any other time in our history, important that we do come together as many cultures, one voice. Creating that voice is going to be important. And again, as Minister Giles was just saying, um, we need to be, uh, especially this organisation, contributing to, to the reform options that we will hopefully be seeing in this country. Um, as we've seen recently with the Indigenous voice, it, it's crucial that the voices of our many cultures be heard and be respected. Into that space, this conference involving Asian Australians, and particularly Asian Australian lawyers, has an important part to play. The conference themes that you've chosen, as always, are very relevant and important. And as usual, the speakers are of high quality. I was delighted to see and hear uh, Minister Giles speaking. And what he said very much resonates with me. I had the chance to meet with him recently to discuss the plight of Afghan women judges still in Afghanistan. I've been involved through my membership of the Australian Association of Women Judges to support and mentor the Afghan women judges who were able to obtain Australian visas and escape from Kabul last year. But we have grave concerns for those judges remaining and hope that something can be done to, to get them out of Kabul and perhaps bring some of them to Australia. You're also fortunate uh, in this conference to have the new Chief Justice of India speaking, a real highlight. Um, and finally, really on the topic of cultural diversity in the judiciary, I can personally attest to the fact that the Federal Attorney General is reinstating a more transparent appointment process for the uh, two of the federal courts, at least the Federal Circuit and Family Court of Australia and the Federal Court, with applications and nominations to be considered by a panel and recommendations made to the attorney. And I know the attorney is keen to have a more inclusive uh, and transparent process and also uh, one which can properly consider diversity. I've been appointed to the panel for the Federal Circuit and Family Court of Australia, and I'm hopeful that process will result in more culturally diverse appointments to those courts. And I'm delighted that I will actually have the opportunity to be involved in that. Um, and I notice with in interest the recent appointment of the first Egyptian woman to the Supreme Court of New South Wales. So we are starting slowly to see change, and I'm very hopeful that it will continue. Um, so I won't take any more of your time, and I know that this evening there'll be, uh, there'll be dinners, branch dinners tonight, and I'm going to be attending the Melbourne dinner. So I hope you all enjoy the conference, and um, I look forward to some of the, the rest of the, uh, the program. Thank you very much. Thank you, um, Your Honour. Uh, so in closing for day one of the summit, I hope that this afternoon has, let's say, whet the appetite um, for the outstanding lineup 
for tomorrow. Um, and I hope that all of you uh, can join in for tomorrow's sessions commencing at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And those of you joining in each of the states for the branch dinners, uh, please uh, be very, eat well, um, and we will hopefully see uh, all of you tomorrow.